peace. And thank you for coming back. As we know, Musa was talking to Allah directly, and he was a curious person, and he was asking many questions. Therefore, because of what he went through, with Pharaoh, and his troops, he found out, how Allah could change people's destiny, towards the courses of time. He learned that because, Allah knew the future, that is why he was sent to Pharaoh, so the destiny of the nation of Ibrahim, and people of Pharaoh, have changed. It seems like he asked Allah, to show him how other people's destiny would change, as how Allah changed it for Pharaoh and his people. Only those people, who are blessed, and called, Ola il, al Bob, by Allah, can figure this out. Therefore, Allah arranged a meeting for Musa to meet one of his servants, by the two rivers merging with each other. And he was supposed to meet a man who had an especial knowledge given by Allah. You may find this story in Zura 18. Musa was with his young servant, and his servant caught a fish from the water for their lunch. But when Musa asked him to prepare his lunch, he just remembered that he lost the fish, and fish slipped away to the water, and he said, Shaitan made me forget, and that fish found its way back to the water, strangely. Musa realized, that would be the place, where he would find that person of Allah. Because that fish's destiny changed. We are going to call him Mr. Destiny. So, Shaitan was not the one, who made him to forget, yet that was Allah's intervention through Mr. Destiny, in order to make him forget, so Mr. Destiny put the fish back into the water in order for Musa to find him there. Allah be glorified. This person, or persons, by Allah's permission do whatever Allah orders them to do, on this earth, and they are among us right now. They have a special knowledge from Allah, and they know exactly what to do. In this story, Musa acts with humanly knowledge, intellect, brains, common sense, and he responds accordingly. While Mr. Destiny acts, with divine hikmat, and knower of the future. The most important hikmat of this story, is to show us, that our intellect is so limited, that we are not able to figure out divine knowledge. That is why we are created weak, because we are not able to see the future, and we cannot control other people. Therefore, we cannot control our happiness. For this reason, we cannot have any atheist among us, because we are so weak, and powerless. So atheist, is a wrong word they chose. Actually they should say, we are a god. Besides, Allah. And we can control everything. If your house is being invaded, you would call 911, for help, if someone hits your car, you would call a police for help, if you are holding on to a piece of wood, after your ship was sinked in the dark of the night, in the middle of the ocean. Then, who are you going to call? You might say, Ghostbusters. Just kidding. That is the time you are really being tested. We are always in need of help from a being more powerful than us. That would be the Almighty our Creator. Just wait, your time will come to pass as well. So do not cheat your soul. Allah says, that he placed the religion of monotheism, in our soul, even before we come here. And that is how we were created, and Allah's creation never changes. Actually Allah is saying, that he designed our DNA that way. By the way, the numerical value of DNA, is 19, which the secret code of the Arabic Quran, is based on it. And the word, Fatara, means, creation, initiation, nature, pattern, programmed, implanted, constituted, originated, designed, make, and natural instinct. And the geometrical value of Fatara is 289, adds up to 19, just like, DNA. So Allah is informing us, that there are some beings, among us, who have been given special knowledge of the future, and by the will of Allah, they approach us, time to time and fix things for us. I remember Dustin Huffman said once, when he was a young man, some old lady, approached him, and told him that he will be very famous person in the future. So that information was a blessing from Allah. Or someone said, 
when he was with his three years old daughter, walking on the street, a very nice looking black couple, came all the way from across the street, and told him that this daughter of yours is going to be very famous in the future, and he told them, this must be a revelation. And then they went back across the street again and left. Amazing thing is that even, that three years old girl never forgot the ones who approached them, after so many years. When Musaw and Mr. Destiny got to the part that he had to kill that young boy, Mr. Destiny said, that boy belonged to a believing parents, and, we, feared, that he would burden them with his transgression, and disbelieve, when, he grows up. When he said, we. That means, Allah, and Mr. Destiny, both. He said Allah feared. This is the most kindness, and graciousness of Allah the Almighty. Allah with his unimaginable power to use the word, fear, for himself. That is awesome. Allah be glorified. He loves his believing servants so much, that he does not want the slightest harm on them. Praise be to Allah, and glory be to Allah, the Hakim. Yet, they accused Allah by saying, Allah, crucified his servant, Esau, son of Maryam. Allah never harms his servants. Allah, bless Nu, as well. Throughout all his life, Allah did not let him find out that his wife was cheating on him, and did not let him find out that his son was a result of unlawful sexual act of his wife, on his back. Allah does not let his believing servants stay married with an adulterous woman. Adulterous woman belongs to adulterous man and the vice versa. This is Allah's law. The Arabic Quran is a fully detailed book, and Allah cites the example of everything in this book. As you notice, every word of this book, is there, for a reason. Therefore, when you receive a hikmat, it will give you a joyful feeling. Like dancing in the rain. I always fall prostrate whenever I receive a hikmat. If you are a good servant of Allah, he makes everyone around you in a way, that you would feel happy, he even makes them temporary believers for you. Then at the right time, he sent them away from around you, for your own good, because, he has a better plan for his believing servants. Thank Allah. Speaking of believing servants. Here is our today's hikmat. The believer in Arabic language, is, Mo'amen. Comes from the root word, ah, mana, that means the one who is, secure, protected, in peace. And safe. So, when you are a true believer of Allah, you are in perfect security, and no one can touch you. That means nothing bad can happen to you, as long as you are following his rules. Like performing our duties, as contact prayers, paying 10% of our obligatory charity, zakat, fasting and all. Allah says, these good deeds will wipe out your bad deeds, and they will be replaced with good deeds. Isn't it awesome? Allah says, if you do one good deed, you will be rewarded ten times. And if you do one bad thing, you will get only one negative point. So, if one becomes guided, let's say from the age of 41, and start performing his, or her religious duties, until the end of their life on earth. Every time they perform one prayer, it will wipe out ten bad things they did in the past, and instead it will be replaced with good deeds, ten times more. Therefore, at the end of their life, they definitely wiped out all the bad deeds and replaced it with lots of good deeds by the will of Allah. That is why, at the gate of heaven, angels will tell us, Salam, Alaikum, you have been cleansed. Allah be glorified. So no matter whatever sins you have committed in the past, with your contact prayers, charities, fasting, and all, you would be able to wipe them out of your file, and replace them with good credits. But remember the only unforgivable sin is an idol worship? So, the angels are able to see our souls at the gate of heaven, which has been purified with good deeds. Thank Allah for his hikmah. This is Allah's system. Everything good comes from Allah, and everything bad is from our own soul. So, Mo'amen, means, the one who is in total security. So Pan Allah. Talking about Nu, and that flood. 
Allah said the water was purring down on them from the sky and also water was gushing out from the springs from the ground, like it was coming out, from an oven. And Nu, asked his son, to come on the board. But, he told his father, I will go to a mountain, that will save me. Nu said, today, no one is going to be saved. Notice that he said, today. So the flood was only one day, and not forty days and nights. And that was around the Dead Sea area, not the whole world. Probably you have witnessed those pouring rains in news media, which were covering the houses and people in just a few hours. News raft, was made of logs, and ropes which were made of leaves, something like this picture. And it rested on there, Judy R. And his animals were just few of his domestic animals. Yet, Shaitan made us to believe that his ark was so big that he could carry all the animals in the world. We seek refuge in Allah, from rejected Shaitan. And Allah said, We left it as a sign, do any of you wish to learn? They say Mount, Judea, is somewhere in Turkey. But we have not found it yet. Thank Allah, now we have the scientifically proven untouched message of Allah, supported by mathematics the exact science, so we do not have to listen to the conjectures of the so-called scholars, and professional religionist, who are following the distorted scriptures and translations. That is why they are so confused. Back to our original story, remember that little boy, was not any burden on his parents, when he was alive, yet he was, going, to burden them, later on. That means his parents were in perfect peace when he was alive. Allah will give patience and forgetfulness for losing your loved ones. Allah blessed that, child, as well, and made him go to heaven, because, he was under 41 years of age. Do you remember Zura 46 told us that the age of responsibility is just before, the age of 41? Allah be glorified. When you get older if you go back in time you would recognize that how much Allah, intervened in your destiny. Allah, is the one who controls our past and future. Remember when they went to the town, and they asked for food, those people did not give them any food? This shows that our Mr. Destiny, eats food, so he is an earthly person. Unlike those angels who came to Abraham, and they did not touch any food. Moose or himself acted like our, Mr. Destiny, when he was sent to Pharaoh, in order to change the destiny of the nation of Abraham, without knowing it. Every or year, of this book is a huge sign from Allah. This is the book of Hakim, full of Hikmah. If you remember Musa, and his brother left the nation of Abraham. And they left behind, Torah, and other things. But then later on, at the time of Prophet, Samuel, the Ark of the Covenant was restored. At that time they were in Palestine. Samu, Eel, means the All-Powerful, will protect. He told the nation of Ibrahim, that Allah assigned a king for you, and his name is, Talut, or, Saul. And Allah blessed him with knowledge and physical strength. Talut, means taller and stronger. Samu, Eel, said to them that, the sign of his kingship is that the Ark of the Covenant will be restored to you. In it, will be, what the people of Musa and Harun left behind. And it will be carried by angels. This should be a convincing sign, if you are really believers. We do not know where the Ark of Covenant located now, but at the right time, Allah will tell us, its exact location. You might have seen some images of the Ark of the Covenant probably in that movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is why, they all have two wings on the top of the Ark, meaning angels carried them for us. I just wanted to share with you my findings of Hikmah, in the Arabic Quran. Hikmah is, in the Arabic Quran, just ask Allah, he will give it to you. Do not waste your time on translations as I wasted 17 years of my life. Start translating the Arabic Quran by yourself, and ask Allah to teach you and make it easy on your tongue. I took the provision of this life, and work for hereafter. Now you are going to see the oyat of the Arabic Quran, which I used for the story of Musa. 
Until the story of Esau, peace.